Hey, welcome back to the Sunday Serving Channel, a place you come every week for the gospel, the truth, hope. Hope on a day like this, it's springtime, but the winter just doesn't want to let go. Look, it's snowing. We're out here at the farm. I was hoping to find more signs of spring, but at least the snow is mostly gone. And the ground is a little hard still, not quite ready for planting or tilling. But spring is coming. So uh, the gospel. You know, uh, Jesus often walked through the fields, the farms, with his disciples in between the towns. And he must have used those times to, to talk, talk about life, talk about those values that are important. The Sermon on the Mount, how to live, how to give. And uh, one time, there's a great story about Jesus walking across some wheat fields. And again, the, disi the disciples are with him. And again, the Pharisees question him, going on from Mark. Mark chapter 2, verse 23. It's a story about the Sabbath, so Sunday servings, you know, your message for the Sabbath, for the Sunday. What is it? Here it is. One Sabbath, he was going through the grain fields, and as they made their way, his disciples began to pluck heads of grain. Unfortunately, we don't have any heads of grain here. It's all been harvested in the fall, but... Uh, they plucked heads of grain. Now, I guess you can, you can take those heads of grain and you can chew on the little seeds of, of grain. And that's what the disciples are doing. They were hungry, just like you sometimes chew on, on grass. It actually works. I've tried it. It's, it's a little uh, tough. You've got to kind of husk the, the shells off the grain. But the kernels are good. They're sweet. And as the Pharisees were saying to him, Look, why are they doing what is not lawful on the Sabbath. So again, the Pharisees were all about following the letter of the law. And, and listen, those laws were given to Moses by God. They were important. And the Pharisees, they wanted to follow that law because they wanted to follow God. But they got a little stuck on the law. And here they were challenging Jesus. I think they were more threatened by Jesus, this new teacher who was so different and was attracting so many people by his, by his love, by his actions by the way he helped people. I think that threatened the Pharisees, and it would, it would threaten, we should ask ourselves, would that threaten us today? Jesus and his direct way with people, would, would we be threatened by that? But anyways, let's, let's go on with the gospel here. And the Pharisees were saying to him, look, why are they doing what is not lawful on the Sabbath? So the disciples picking grain, eating, doing work on the Sabbath. Here's Jesus' answer. To the, to the Pharisees, to us. Let's take this answer as if it's to us. Have you never read what David did when he was in need and was hungry and those who were with him and how he entered the house of God in the time of Abathar, the high priest, and ate the bread of the presence, which is not lawful for any but the priests to do, and also gave it to those who were with him. So Jesus, he's challenging the Pharisees with his own knowledge of the history of what's happened in the past of the prophets with, with King David and how David at a time had done something unlawful. He had gone into the presence and ate, ate the bread that was holy, that was only for the priests to eat, and he gave it to his men. And, he, and he's telling the Pharisees, he's saying, he's turning it around and actually upscaling the Pharisees with his knowledge of, of, uh, of the writings of old, of the prophets. But then this is, this is what's important. He wasn't just showing up the Pharisees. This is important. And then he said to them, The Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. There it is. The Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. Let's, let's think about that, but first finish this passage off. And then Jesus said, So the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath. I think that sums it all up right there. The Son of Man, Jesus he referred to himself as the Son of Man. Jesus is Lord even of the Sabbath. So what is, what is the Sabbath? That's an example of, of a remembrance 
a law that God gave to Moses to, to observe the Sabbath, but why? God, it says that God created the earth in six days. However you want to take that literally or figuratively, God created. That, that's the point, right? God created everything. What an, what an amazing work to, to create everything there is. And then on the seventh day, he rested. Now, I don't think that, that God necessarily got tired from all that creation, but why did he rest on the seventh day? To, to observe what he had done, that it was good. It says he made the heavens, the earth, the seas, everything in them, and it was good. He created man, he created woman, and it was good. And so on that day of rest, the Sabbath, to observe what God has created, to celebrate it, and to remember God our Creator. That is why the Sabbath was given to man, was to remember, to celebrate God the Creator. And here Jesus is amongst men. He is the Son of God. And so on the Sabbath day, what's important is to be with Jesus, to focus on God, to focus on the Spirit, to focus on Jesus, not on a law, not on the Sabbath itself. It's kind of like if you get too caught up in the Sabbath itself or a law, you're, you're, you're worshiping the shadow instead of the Son or, or Jesus. So isn't that the important thing that it is very important to take time and it's a wonderful thing to take time once a week on Sunday on the Sabbath and put aside everything else that's that's full of stress and worry that's material jobs work stress money and to think of God our Creator to think of Jesus our Savior to celebrate him to worship him so that is the point Jesus is Lord even of the Sabbath. Even on a day like this where the snow is coming down and it seems like winter, Jesus is Lord every day. But on the Sabbath, let's take that in and remember it. So God bless you. Have a wonderful week. Come on, Remy. Let's find some grain.